Hey everyone. So, um, pen and ink drawing supplies can sometimes get a little bit pricey, especially for like the average person who just wants to, you know, dabble a little bit or learn the basics of ink drawing. Now, with this cheap little pen, I mean, ballpoint pens are so cheap, sometimes they're given away for free, <laughs> you know? Um, but the interesting thing is, or the cool thing is, is that with this cheap little pen, you can still create some amazing ink works, and more importantly, you can use it to practice most of what you need to know about the basics of pen and ink drawing. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some simple tips on shading with ballpoint pen. And I'm sure almost everyone would be able to take something from this that you can apply to your own drawings. So I'm going to share three things with you that I think really makes the ballpoint pen really special and different from most other ink drawing instruments. And um, you'll see how easily you'll be able to apply this in your own work. So what I did was basically draw three lines and this pretty much essentially demonstrates what I'm going to show you. And now the first thing that's really important to note about this is that I'm able to vary my line weight. In other words, I can create lines of varying thickness. And that's the first thing that's really cool about this cheap little pen, which is very effective. So now I can do something as simple as, as this. see that so with this I can basically make lines that are really thick and bold and lines that are really thin and light usually you'd have to have some specialized pen like a uh, like a dip pen with a special nib or you'll have to have uh, pens of different point sizes like what I usually do with the um, Pigma Microns and so on. But with just one pen, you can actually create line lines that have a different weight. Now, what this also shows us is that I'm able to create lines that have different values. See, so again, drawing a simple form just like this, uh, let's just make up a shape here. You see, so now I can actually say, uh, let's just say a light source is coming from the top. I can make lines that indicate shadow just by the thickness of the lines. And this is awesome practice for ink drawing because you're really learning how to vary the amount of pressure that you put down on the pen. And this is all being done with one simple uh, 30 cent pen. Now, the third thing that uh, this enables us to do is to also, by being able to vary our line weight, now we can create different values. Now, the third thing, which is really unique and pretty, uh, actually, maybe the most unique in terms of what enables it to mimic the effects of a pencil, is that with a ballpoint pen, you can now merge your lines and to create even tone. So let's make another uh, arbitrary uh, shape again. All right. Now this is the cool thing. So say for example, I have some strokes like this, all right? Now this is really cool that you can do with a ballpoint pen. You can actually 
create similar motion as you do with a pencil. See, by using hash marks and create an even gradation in tone. Or you can use circular marks. Point is, you're not seeing lines necessarily. You're seeing even tone. A ballpoint pen is perhaps the only ink drawing instrument, one of the only ink drawing instruments that actually can somewhat or most closely imitate that effect. So now I'm basically blending the lines or treating it just like it's a pencil. Something that I usually do too that is pretty useful is that I kind of like extend my, uh, my fingers away from the tip like this and then it forces the pen to actually glide on the side and really create really light values because it's basically just gliding over the surface of the paper and those light marks enables me to create really subtle gradations in value. So this is where you have to slow down a bit and let the values gradually build. And eventually you'll see the gradation just start taking place really smoothly and almost imperceptibly. Like you, you, it's hard to um, be able to see the difference in value. You see, and I'm actually treating it like it's a pencil. So I'm just making circular motions and I'm going over the border between the, uh, the shadow areas and the light areas and just gradually smoothing it out. So of course, you know, it's important to point out that this is primarily a writing instrument. So it's not meant to create lasting works of art. You know, the ink is not guaranteed to be permanent or archival or uh, waterproof and so on. But for practice, this is more than enough. So the point here is you have no excuse not to be able to practice the fundamentals. I am sure everyone can get their hands on a ballpoint pen. So if you found this video useful, inspiring, entertaining, informative, you know, helpful in some way, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.